Hi, my name is Alexander Gordon-Smith and I am the author of The Escape from Furnace books and of the brand new young adult action horror novel The Fury. I'm so excited to be here today on the Mac Kids blog. I want to say a huge thanks to everyone at Macmillan for welcoming me here and for publishing this monster of a book. And I want to take this opportunity to answer some questions. You guys have been asking me a lot of questions about the Fury, about what kind of book it is. So I'm going to take this opportunity to pick the top five questions and answer them here. So here we go. <laughs> The Fury is about what would happen if one day, without warning, every single person in the world tried to kill you. Your mum, your dad, your brothers, your sisters, your friends at school, strangers in the street, every single person you go near tries to tear you to pieces. But the weird thing is that as soon as you die, or as soon as you escape, they go back to normal and nobody remembers attacking you. So it's about a group of teenagers in the book, and Cal, and Brick, and Daisy, and a few others, uh, and they're all trying to work out why the world is trying to kill them and why the world has the fury and they start to realise that it's actually part of something much bigger, something that could threaten the entire planet and everybody living there. Um, yeah, so it's an action horror book uh, full of gore, full of explosions and fights and chases and lots more too. The idea for The Fury actually came when I was about sort of 12, 13, 14 years old uh, at school. Now at school I was awful at sport, awful at gym, we call it PE, physical education. Every single year I was in the bottom set uh, for PE, uh, you know, I just could not do sport and we had the world's most evil PE teacher. I won't say what his name is just in case he's watching this. And his idea of fun was to make us play a game called Murderable. Now Murderable never really lived up to its name but it came close a few times. The idea was that one person in the class would be given uh, a rugby ball, kind of like American football, and maybe a five or ten second head start depending on what sort of mood this PE teacher would be in. And the idea was that you would, you know, after this five or ten seconds, every single person in the class would try and get the ball from you. So, you know, you, you'd hear the PE teacher, he'd blow the first whistle and you'd be running across the field as fast as you could go, which for me, sadly, wasn't very fast. And then suddenly you'd hear the second whistle go and you'd start to feel the ground shake. And you'd hear this scream rise up behind you. And if you ever looked over your shoulder, and it was always a mistake to look over your shoulder, you should never ever do it. Um, but sometimes you couldn't help it. And you were so scared. If you ever looked over your shoulder, you would see 30 people tearing across the field after you with expressions, I kid you not, like this. <laughs> And, you know, it would be terrifying, you know, these were people where your friends, these were all the people I hung out with at school and after school, but when we were playing Murder Ball, something changed in them. They didn't look human anymore. They looked like animals. They just looked like they wanted to tear you to pieces. After kind of a few seconds, I could never outrun them. I'd be on the floor with 30 people on top of me, punching me, kicking me, uh, biting me, and you know, uh, you know, someone did actually take chunks out, people never found out who it was. And the worst thing is that, is that people would put mud up your nose and in your mouth, so you couldn't breathe. Every single week when we played Murderable, I thought I was gonna die. Uh, luckily, like I say, nobody ever did, but you know, I just thought it was a really weird experience. And, and the thing is that when you were doing the chasing, you didn't care that these were your friends, all you wanted to do was catch them uh, and you know, join them with everyone else. So years later, I was kind of thinking to myself, I was trying to think of an idea for a horror story, and I looked back at that experience and I just thought to myself, what if one day, when I was out on the school field, you know, everyone had started to come after me and they weren't playing a game, it wasn't for PE, everyone was just trying to kill me. And that is where the idea for the Fury was born. <laughs> Cal, Brick and Daisy are the three main characters in the Fury. And if I had to pick a favourite, which is kind of tough, because you know, when you write characters they all become like your children and it's like being asked to pick your favourite child. Um, if I had to choose, I, I kind of probably say Daisy is my favourite really because she's based on my daughter. But the one that's closest to me is Brick. I remember when I was a teenager, I was always angry all the time and Brick kind of picks up on that. 
Brick has got anger management issues. He's selfish, he's angry, um, he hates the world, which makes him a really interesting character. I think he was the one that I really enjoyed writing because, you know, some of his choices in the book aren't good choices and that all comes from that kind of inner anger. So yeah, I think Brick would have to be probably the most interesting character in the book. Imagine if one day, without warning, the entire human race turns against you. One minute all is right with the world, the next, every person you meet becomes a bloodthirsty savage. That's the terrifying reality for Cal, Brick and Daisy. Friends, family, even their parents are out to get them. Their world has been infected with the fury. It will not rest until they are dead. As these few chosen teens forge a desperate alliance, they set out to discover the earth-shattering truth about what is happening. Soon they will battle for survival on a gigantic scale. Survival not just for themselves, but for their millions of mindless pursuers. Because the real enemy is a force of unspeakable darkness, hell-bent on annihilation. From a new master of YA horror, hey, that's me, comes this utterly unique epic, an adventure as pulse-pounding as it is provocative. The first line of the book goes as follows. It was an ordinary Wednesday afternoon in June when the world came to kill Benny Milston. Okay, there are 700 pages nearly in this book, which makes it a long book, but it is incredibly fast paced. It, the story flies by it and never stops for breath. So hopefully you won't be put off by the size of it. And in fact, this book is actually shorter than the Escape from Furnace series. See, the Fury is like a baby next to the Escape from Furnace series. And in fact, people have emailed me to tell me that they have read The Fury in two days, uh, which I think is faster than even I could read it. So don't let the length put you off. It is a fast paced, blisteringly fast story um, that really never stops for breath. Thanks so much for tuning in. It's been great speaking to you. If you have any more questions at all, then you can ask them in the comments section below and I will answer them. Or feel free to email me or Facebook me. Uh, all that information is on my website, alexandergordonsmith.com. But I really hope you enjoy The Fury. It's a big book. It's a ferocious book. Uh, it's an angry book. It's a gory book. Uh, but it's, you know, it's a hell of a read. And I just want to say another huge thanks to Macmillan for letting me be here and for publishing this monster of a book. And I want to say a huge thanks to you guys as well for being the most amazing fans in the world, for reading my books and for always being so supportive and awesome. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed The Fury. I wrote this book for you. Let me know what you think. Thank you.